What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are rocking out with this fun off meta team that features Choice Scarf, Chandelure, and Life Orb Regilecki. You guys are in the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. This team right here was created by Falken VGC. Huge shout out to him. We'll be linking his channel down in the description below. So definitely go check it out if you guys want the Poke Pace or want to see this team more in depth. But the first Pokemon that we're going to talk about in today's team preview is going to be one of my all time favorites. It is going to be Chandelure. It's got Flash Fire and the Choice Scarf, like we already mentioned, rocking Hex, Shadow Ball, Flamethrower, and Heat Wave for its four moves. In our second slot, we're going to have Milotic with Competitive and Adrenaline Orb. So if somebody does end up intimidating us, we will get a Speed Boost from the Adrenaline, adrenaline Orb, and we will get a plus two Special Attack Boost from the Competitive Ability. Milotic's rocking Icy Wind, Scald for Stab, Draining Kiss for Coverage, and that is our Terror type with Fairy, and then Protect for our final move. And our third slot is going to be Regilecki, with Transistor and the Life Orb helping it do as much damage as it possibly can. It's got Electro Web for Speed Control, Thunderbolt for Big Time Stab Damage, Terror Blast with that Ice Terror type, and Protect for its final move. And our fourth slot is going to be our Support slash Fake Out user, it is going to be My Shell with Inner Focus and the Focus Sash. It's got Close Combat for Big Time Stab Damage, Wide Guard to protect our team from double hitting moves, Taunt to Taunt opposing Support Mounts, and like we already mentioned, Fake Out for First Turn Flinches. First slot is going to be Enamorous, and this Pokemon is super cool. Love its typing with the Fairy and the Flying typing, and just all around love this Pokemon's design. It's got Contrary with the Assault Vest and Earth Power, Sludge Bomb, Dazzling Gleam, and Dream Kiss. In our final slot, we got Chiyu, such a strong special attacker, and we have it with the Choice Specs making it even stronger. It's got Beads of Ruin as its ability, and then its moves consist of Dark Pulse, Snarl, Psychic, and Heat Wave. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rent the code is at top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Look to grab some wins with this Choice Scarf Chandelure and Life Orb Regilecki off meta team. First match coming at you guys. We're going up against decently meta team, right? They got Amoongus, who is super annoying, especially with the spores. Roaring Moon, Cresselia, Urshifu, Iron Hands, and Flame Ogre Pond. Hearth Flame Ogre Pond, I should say. But I really like the team that we're using. We got Chandelure right here, and I believe it has Flash Fire, right? It does have Flash Fire, which is okay, but Ogre Pond has Mold Breaker so it can hit through abilities, which is kind of tough. But Pokemon that I could potentially see them leading would be Roaring Moon or even Iron Hand. So I actually kind of like my Xiao here, especially for Fake Out Control. Close Combat can also do some big time damage, so I'm all about that. So I'm going to end up going into my Xiao. I might end up leading Chandelure here as well. I like Chandelure. It can't be faked out. That's a good thing. And on top of that, it can actually hit some Pokemon pretty hard here. Like, say if they lead the Cresselia or the Moongus, we can actually start ripping into it. So, I'm going to go Chandelure here with the Choice Scarf. So, in the back end, we'll definitely bring Life Orb Regilecki. And then, last but not least, Enamorous isn't too bad here, right? You got the Fairy typing, which is awesome. You also have other coverage moves, correct? With Sludge Bomb and Earth Power. Yeah, I actually really like it. So, I'm going to bring Enamorous, especially with that Assault Vest, as a nice little back end Pokemon. I know they have a lot of physical attackers, but... But I love the typing. I love the typing. I love the move set on the Enamorous. Would love to start this video off today with a W. It'd be really, really nice. So let's just end up seeing who they're gonna lead. So we got my shot here alongside with the Shandle Pop. Shandle Pop coming out here, and they're gonna end up leading Iron Hands and Roaring Moon. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. I mean, I gotta fake out the, the Roaring Moon here, correct? Makes the most sense. And Shiny Chandelure looks so good. Just like the normal couple, co color flames instead of the uh, instead of the uh, blue flames. It just looks so good. But I'm going to have to choice into a move. And is Heat Wave going to be my play? Most likely. I mean, I could just choice into Shadow Ball. But I think Heat Wave is going to be my play. Because I could potentially get burns on that. And just start ripping. So, Fake Out's going to come across here. Right into the Roaring Moon slot. Fake Out's going to come into my shot slot. with Inner Focus regardless. And I probably should have just close combat at that. To be honest with you guys. We end up dropping a heat wave. Any burns? Any burns? Nah, we don't get that lucky. We simply do not get that lucky. So I'm gonna try to pull off this close combat. That could be big time. And I'm just gonna keep spamming heat wave here. I'm gonna keep spamming heat wave. Heat wave coming out here. Give me some burns. Throw me some burns. It's burn time. 
No burns at all. I'm breaking sweeps and come through here and take out the my shell. That's very upsetting. That is very upsetting that that takes out the my shell. Should just close combat at turn one. Wild charge coming out here. Can you soak that? Oh wow, we're losing two Pokemon early on here. Very very early here. No burns. I really wanted some burns, but very early here we're losing two Pokemon. I mean, we got some good Pokemon in the back in here. Ready to get cooking. So I'll go Enamorous here. I'll also go in with Regilecki. And I think our best bet would be to probably just go Dash and Gleam. And maybe just protect you, Regilecki. So I'm just going to protect the Regilecki. This is pretty much just a hyper-offensive matchup here. And he's going to end up going for a knockoff, trying to get rid of my item and do some damage on the Regilecki. And I'm hoping you're trying to double down on the Regilecki. The Enamorous is going to go next, and he's going to pick up the double KO. So, two quick KOs. Two very quick KOs from each side of the field. They ended up KO with me real quick. We end up bouncing right back, picking up a double KO on them. And our only problem is they got some speed with Halo. Well, I know Regilecki is super fast, and maybe e Webin once could help us get speed control. But it really depends who they go with. It's going to be Cress, and it's going to be who else? Here? I don't really mind Cress. It's gonna be Amoongus. Okay. I don't mind that. I am scared of the spores. I am absolutely terrified of the spores. I have Dragon Terror type, which is really not that good. I could go Ice Terror type just to deal some big time damage. But what I'm thinking here is just maybe just wasting out these Tailwind turns. I mean, we're pretty fast, right? We are pretty fast. What do I even want to go for here? Daz and Gleam, Sludge Bomb, maybe look for some poisons. I think I'm just going to double down to Amoongus here. Pop that Terra and then Terra Blast. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with doubling down into Amoongus here. So I still have Terra. They still have Terra. Let's see how this one plays out here. Let's see it. So I get that Terra type on Reg Lucky. Looking just to absolutely pounce on this Amoongus. Looking to get after the Amoongus. Terra Blast flying out here. We're still out speeding them, which is awesome. Regilecki just showcasing its speed. Terra Blast with Ice doing a massive amount of damage, which we love. We're going to lose some HP. And Enamorous is out speeding too, which is huge, but we're not picking up the KO, which kind of sucks. Combine's going to start to get boosted. Looking a little scary. <laughs> and is he going to spore me? Don't spore me. Don't be that guy. Just, like, really? This is how you want to play? This is how you want to play. So he ends up sporing Enamorous kind of annoying I think from here we just try to pop a sludge bomb and we go for e-web for the KO onto Amoongus and some damage onto Crest here as well so Amoongus ends up protecting mmm Cresselia popping the calm mines not looking good really Spore I don't want to lose this first match just Spore kind of annoying e-web's gonna come out here do a little bit of damage drop the speed and what are you going for, Cress? You might just KO my Regilecki with a Moon Blast or something like that. No, a double Combine boost. We need some crits to help us out here, to be honest with y'all. To be honest with you guys, we need some crits. We need some crits. So I'm E-Webbing again. I'm going to go for Sludge Bomb. Spam that. E-Web coming out here. Looking real terrifying. There's the E-Web. Should be able to KO Moongus, right? Really? <laughs> really? He's gonna spore me. He's really gonna spore me here. I really don't pick up the KO. That's upsetting. Enamorous is still asleep too. Lovely. Just what I wanted. Just, just, just what I wanted. Just what I wanted. Sword power coming out here. I'm dead. I get crit. Gone. Gone. Easily. Simple. Gone. And we're gonna end up losing this first match, which is ridiculous. Am I still asleep? Look, you're spore me again. Get on out of here. Enamorous, wake up. I was still asleep. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. We'll go for Dazzling Gleam here. We should wake up and we should be able to just KO Moogus, but chances are Moogus probably protects again. No, it doesn't. So Namorous wakes up after a nice lovely three turn sleep. Dazzling Gleam coming out here doing about negative five damage to Cresselia. We KO the Mushroom. And yeah, this is just not looking good. Stored power coming in here. Oh, another Calm Mind. Chill. Chill with the Calm Minds. You gotta chill. We gotta hope to actually get some crits here. We gotta hope to actually get some crits and maybe maybe some burns here. Or not burns, poisons. 
though. I'll go for Sludge Bomb here. I know it's not Stab, it's not ideal, but looking for some poisons here. Nah, we don't get that. Sword Power doing a lot of damage, and yeah, this one's over. Unless we get a crit with Draining Kiss. Only way we have a shot here. Yeah, we're not doing enough damage. This thing's combine boosted three times. It's all over. Cresselia coming in the back end, clutching up. Kind of upsetting that we got put to sleep and weren't able to KO that uh that Amoongus. But hey, it'd be like that. We start off 0-1. Let's go hop into a second match, use this team a little better, and look for our first win. Second match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Palafin and Baxcaliber team. Alongside with Warring Moon, Alolan Ninetales, Iron Hands, and Fluttermane. Looking for our first victory in today's video. But um, who should we lead here? I mean, I see they had they do have Palafin, so I do like Regilek -like here, especially for that typing. And on top of that, speed control. But I also see a Lola Nine Tails, who could potentially be a pretty simple lead for them. So I might just want to lead a fire type Pokemon, whether it be Chiyu or Chandelure. And I'm kind of leaning towards a bit more on the Chiyu side. Actually, maybe Chandelure. Maybe Chandelure, just because I want to use Chandelure a little bit more. But Chiyu obviously might be better. But screw it. I'm going to go Chandelure here for turn one. And I'm also going to lead it with Regilecki, right? Yeah, let's go Regilecki. We'll bring Chiyu, and we will bring Enamorous in the back end. I have one second to lock it down, and we got it in just in time. So I'm ready to go. We're ready to rip it up. So let's see what they do here and who they're going to lead here. Looking for our first win, especially because that first match was super, super close. So I'd love to just get after it here and grab ourselves a win here. But yeah, the first match, they ended up picking up an easy double KO onto us, and then we fought right back. We had Regilecki and Enamorous side by side, ripping a double KO, and then Amoongus spored us. Calm Mind came out from the Cresselia, and it was just all over from there. But they end up going into these two Pokemon, and I think terrestrializing our what's called is actually pretty good. Actually, we could just be fine just going into these moves, because we should be faster than them. It could actually be pretty good. We should be actually a lot faster than them. Yeah, with the choice scarf and you just being like 270 speed. Yeah, we should just be able to e-web and heat wave here. And I'm so down for that. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do here. The flutter main ends up protecting. That's totally fine. I wonder if we're gonna be able to KO this uh this nine tails here, which would actually be pretty big for us. We can just land a heat wave and pick up the KO. That'll be no, no! We missed our e-web? Heatwave, please tell me you could just KO and this thing's not sashed. Come on, Heatwave. Oh, Regilecki. Regilecki missing E-Web? We just missed an E-Web there. That's that's brutal. That's brutal. Regil really, Reggie? Come here. Let me see that. Let me see that move real quick. Actually, I can see it right here. Let me see that move. We're obviously choosing Heatwave, so I'm going to pop another button. But let me see this move. 95 accuracy, and I'm missing... Unbelievable. Unbelievable. But I'm gonna actually just start thunderbolting into the point. I mean, yo, that hurts, man. That hurts. We might lose Shandle here. Maybe we should trash on a Shandle, but yo, that that hurts right there. Because now they got a war bell, which is arguably one of the best things in the game right now. And they shouldn't have gotten enough. Iron Hands now comes out here. Maybe we can get a burn here. Be pretty cool. Thunderbolt's gonna fly over to you. How much damage are we doing? Not bad. Nice little half damage there. No Paralyze coming out here. Heat Wave connecting again. So if they don't get off that Aurora Bell either, we get a burn on Fluttermane. I'd rather have it on the Iron Hands. But if they don't get off that Aurora Bell, that Fluttermane's dead there. And we're sitting in such a good position. But Chandler's going to end up dropping out here. I can E-Web just to finish off that Fluttermane if I want to. And from here, I might just double protect my Pokemon. Or maybe just go into Enamorous. And maybe protect Regilecki. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I am going to do that. I'm a little scared of, like, Iron Hands potentially rocking Heavy Slam. That could be a little bit of a threat. But, I mean, if we just go Dream and Kiss here, we should be able to get back some HP. So, I'm just going to protect the Regilecki here. Hopefully, the Flutter Man's going after me. And hopefully, Fake Out's coming out here, too. And, yeah, we make that nice little read. I end up getting off that little read there. Burn's going to slowly chip up this Fluttermane, and it might actually KO it this turn. Fluttermane's going to die some lean. Not bad damage. Draining Kiss, how much are you doing? Not bad damage. We'll get back a little bit of HP here, which is great, which is lovely. 
And Fluttermane. Can you die out to this burn, please? No, you're not going to. Hmm. Hmm. My play is to definitely just drain and kiss this thing again. And probably just E Web, right? Pick up the KO and do, I guess, a little bit of damage on Iron Hands. We really don't want Fluttermane getting off another turn, so. E Web definitely a call. Wow, we would have actually been killing it this match. We would have been killing it this match. If they didn't get off a of war belt. If Regilecki would have just landed that E Web. If we would have just landed that simple E Web. We would have been thriving. This match probably would have been over. Look at him. Now he's landing E Webs, no problem. We get rid of Flutterman with that. We get a little speed drop on Iron Hands. As if it wasn't already slow enough. And we'll start being able to get after him. I think he might potentially just drain punch into my Regilecki. And that might KO it. That's not sounding good, right? Because Regilecki's a little lightweight. He's a little lightweight. He's a little boy. Yeah, there's a drain punch. That's why Regilecki is neck good in Scarlet Violet. Just such a lightweight. He gets back a ton of HP. They still have nine tails, don't they? No, we KO nine tails. Did we KO nine tails or did they hard swap nine tails? I kind of forget. I kind of forget. I think they might have hard swap nine tails. We'll see. Max Caliber comes out here. Okay. Max Caliber comes out here. We still have Terror type, which is now is probably a good time to use it on Chiyu. Maybe draw, dodge a. Uh, dodge a what's it called? We could dodge a Drain Punch. Um, I do have Earth Power. I do also have Dazzle Gleam, and I'm gonna end up going into Dazzle Gleam this turn, and then Terrastalizing and popping a Heat Wave across the board. Yep, that's gonna be my play. It's so annoying, man. It's so annoying because Roarvel. Oh, dude, it's just such a it's such a clutch thing. It's just helping him soak up so much damage. So we're hoping Iron Hands to go for a Drain Punch into my Chi Yu slot. We're terrestrializing into Ghost for that purpose. Maybe trying to dodge a move here and just get off some big time damage with these double hitting moves. And get going from there. Cause I'm not I'm not worried about the Nine Tails in the back end. I really am not. I'm worried about the Pokemon on the field right now. He waves gonna end up connecting. Any burns? Any burns out here? There's one burn. We'd love that. We'd love a burn on a physical attacker. Show me two burns. No, one burn. And you end up going for a Sword Sands here. The Sword Sands coming out here. That's some clean cooking. KOing you and bringing Iron Hands down the one. That's massive. Iron Hands, show me going for Drain Punch into Chiyu. Heavy Slam. You soak that. You don't soak that. Okay, we're still fine. We're still fine because Nine Tails is in the back end. And as long as I can land this Heat Wave, as long as I can land this Heat Wave, we win this match. As long as RNG doesn't screw me over here, we win this match right here. Heat Wave, do your thing. Do your thing. Do your thing, yo. If I miss this Heat Wave and lose this match, I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry right here on camera. Everyone's going to clip it. They're going to be posting all over the internet. It's going to be a problem. But too bad we're not missing these heat waves. Because when Chi Yu needs to clutch up, Chi Yu clutches up. I'll let you know that right now. When Chi Yu needs to clutch up, it clutches up. I don't care what tarot type you have, which we expect, we should be able to KO you. Ghost, you're dead. You're dead. Ghost type doesn't matter. Chi Yu. Come on, man. You got this. You got this, Chi Yu. You got this, Chi Yu. Thank you. Thank you, Chi Yu. Thank you. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Match number two in the bag. We are now sitting at one and one. Grab you guys nice little win there. Let's go hop into our third and final match and look for that winning record. Final match is here. Would love to grab ourselves a winning record in today's video. But did you guys see the brand new Indigo Disc final trailer? Looking amazing. We are now a week away from that. And with that comes a bunch of brand new Pokemon that I'm super excited to be showcasing for you guys. So if you guys want to make some Indigo Disc Pokemon rental teams, make sure you guys do that. Send it to me, whether it be in the comment section down below or over to me on my Twitter. I would love to get my hands on teams with new Pokemon showcase on the YouTube channel. But third and final match here. Let's grab ourselves that winning record. Straight meta here again. Don't really have to talk about any of these Pokemon. You guys see them on the screen already. But Pokemon that I'm thinking about leading is going to be Regilecki. I mean, they have... Uh, Tornadas here could pop a simple tailwind, 
could be a little bit of a problem for us. But I think on top of that, Regilecki could be good, especially with popping E-Webs. So I am going to end up going Life Orb Regilecki. Also, I might lead my shell here just for fake out purposes. Or I might just go into like a Choice Scarf Lantern just to start getting off some big time damage early on here. And yeah, I kind of like that. So I'm going to go into both of them. Uh, I am going to bring Chi Yu in the back end, which I like. And then last but not least, either Enamorous or Milo. And I'm kind of leaning towards Enamorous here. Just due to all of its coverage moves. And Ogre Pond having Water Absorb. Yeah, we don't really want to bring Milo for that one. But yeah, these matchups have been tough. Especially using off meta team or Pokemon that aren't really used too much in meta. Up against meta Pokemon. Which is all regulation E right now. That's all it is. It's just straight meta. Like this is this has been bad meta. Like at least in like the last season. It was like, okay, we have some meta. But at least it's kind of like floating around and switching up a little bit. This one's just been the same. Maybe 10 Pokemon on every single team. We've been It's getting out of hand. It's definitely getting out of hand. But they end up leading these two. Flutter main and... Regilecki. And I think from here, if I could just outspeed with my Regilecki, I could maybe just Terrastalize Chandelure. Kind of go from there. Because I want to see your speed. Are you maxed out on speed? I believe you are, right? Yeah, you are completely maxed out. Even nature, too? Relax nature. Yeah, that boosts speed. Yeah, I'm going for the E-Web. And I'm going to Terrastalize and look to land some heat each year. I got the choice scarf. I got the choiciest of scarves. So I'm thinking if we can land both of these, we might just be able to get a big time double KO, right? Because Heat Wave with the Terror type should be able to rip. It should be able to rip. So we end up going for an E Web. We do outspeed, which is beautiful. That's beautiful. So now Shandlor should be faster than both. And like I said, as long as we can hand, land a Heat Wave, I like it. And we do land a heat wave. Shandle, my my boy, my dog. Coming in here with a heat wave. Easy double KO. Hot start for match number three. We love it. So good play calls for us. The Terrastalize the Chandelure. Looking just to get off some big time damage. And that's exactly what we do. Now we're sitting here with big time speed control Pokemon on our left with E Web. And Chandelure ready to just absolutely rip. And out comes Ogre Pond. Out comes Ogre Pond. And indeed, oh. That's totally fine. We're cooking with this. Let us cook. Let us cook. So I could E-Web. We already have speed. There's no point of actually E-Webbing. If they go for follow me, they go for follow me. That's like the only way I see them really trying to win this match here. But I think we just go Thunderbolt here. And we just Heat Wave. Let's see what they do. So he's going to end up putting on the mask for... Ogre Pond, and again, if I had to guess, it's gotta be Follow Me. If it's not Follow Me, then Thunderbolt's probably KO, right? That's exactly why we kind of double down into the slot here. And he's gonna get the special defense boost. Let's see, Follow Me? Yeah, okay, so smart play by them. Pretty simple standard play as well. And we're gonna be able to drop a nice little Thunderbolt turn one here, chip up some nice damage, and then Heat Wave's gonna fly across here. And we'll see if we get any value out of this. Oh, we're missing the Heat Wave? Who dodged it? Indeedee dodged it. I'd rather it hit Indeedee, actually. That kind of sucks. So we do about five damage to him. Ivy Cudgel's going to finish off the Chandelure. So he ends up taking out the Chandelure. I think now's a pretty good turn for us to actually just go into Chi Yu, right? Because I can start Dark Pulsing at that point. Yeah, Chi Yu's going to come out here. So I'll go Chi Yu here. Um, I think I'll just go E Web just to just to grant a little bit of speed for my other Pokemon. Because I know Ogre Pond is a little bit faster. So we'll go E Web here, and on top of that, we will. Do I just go for a Snarl? Yeah, I think E Web Snarl is gonna be the play. Not even gonna lie. Special attack drops are massive. Plus, it still should be able to do a decent amount of damage. So he ends up just protecting. That's totally fine. E Web's gonna connect. It should connect. Do not miss your E Web. Thank you. And as we're connecting, slowing down Ogre Pond and doing some nice damage at the same time. Nice damage at the same time. Snarl might be able to just KO. And if it doesn't, then we get a special attack drop regardless. That's good news. Snarl comes out here and it just ends up KOing Ogre Pond. So that wraps up the match pretty much because Indeedee is not doing much here. Indeedee, get on out of here. We're not dealing with you. That's going to be a nice little 2-1 winning record. Nice quick final battle for you guys too. So I'll end up dropping a nice little Thunderbolt. Which choice spec into Snarl now, and they just cancel battle. There it is, ladies and gentlemen.
What a way to fight back in today's video. Ended up losing the first match, but bouncing back in match number two and match number three, grabbing you guys two wins and a winning record overall. But this team was super fun. I absolutely love using off meta Pokemon, especially up against three meta teams today. We had Chandelure absolutely getting working. We had Regilecki helping out on the speed side of things and doing some big time damage. Then the rest of the team just filling their role and doing their job. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.